Okay, hey! I always look the wrong way, I look that way. There's the camera. I've got my phone the opposite way around to I usually have it, so that's a bit weird. Um, hello everyone, happy Thursday. Um, God, I think this is like the third time I've been live today. Either one extreme to the other. Yeah, I've gone live like three times today. You're getting a lot of me this morning, um, this lunchtime, this evening. I sound like Big Brother. Um, Thank you for joining. Give me a hey when you join. Happy almost Easter. We have a four day weekend. Woo! I hope everyone's obviously finished uh, work now. So four days to enjoy. Um, just throwing it out there. I've got really red eyebrows. I haven't had an allergic reaction. I've actually just had them waxed and tinted and then come straight here. So I'm just throwing it out there before I get all these comments saying... What's wrong with your eyebrows? Why are you so red? That's why I have sensitive skin, waxed it, tinted, but they look so much better shaped, don't they? I'm party ready now. Woo! Just got to get my hair and makeup done tomorrow. So, enough about me yamiting on. Danny, 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 you are on. Um, but I'm not sure why it's not letting you. Let's try and add you again. Hey. So, the very lovely. Danny has decided you were this evening and Danny is one of my uplines she is amazing I won't go into her story too much because she'll come on to tell you but she is a an, a, a true um what's the word I can't think of anything today hey legend she, she is a true legend <laughs> I was going to say she's a true example of our business and, and what you can achieve in it and what you can do um, I've just heard my nieces come in last, like downstairs, so I'm going to shut the door in case they end up running through. Lolly! <laughs> I look really weird in this. For anyone watching on Lauren's Facebook, hello. Um, I've literally just had my eyebrows tattooed, and I look a really funny colour, and they look really, really dark, and I just don't look fab. But they will fade. It's not like I'm going to walk around looking like this forever. Um, this is just a temporary thing. <laughs> that was so funny. I just come on and said... I know my eyebrows look red. I've just had them done. Everyone must have <laughs> oh, oh, really? done. I haven't had them tattooed. Not yet. I'm still thinking about it, to be honest. They look good, though, Dan. They'll fade. We're, the, eye we're the eyebrow twins. <laughs> we are. Uh, yeah. I've just got all red around mine because I've constantly, like, sensitive skin. <laughs> yeah, mine look mine look really red as well. Um, they bled quite a lot, but... Did they? It's yeah, it's all good. It's all worth it in the end. It's all worth it in the end, exactly. How are you, babe? You all right? I'm good, yeah. I'm party prepping. I've got my uh, my mum and dad's 40th wedding anniversary party tomorrow, so the majority of tomorrow I'll just be spent decorating the hall and stuff. So oh, that's done all cute. Day. It I can lovely. see your little capsule pots in the background. That's cute. Always repping. It, it reminds it. me of my them. I'm a bit forgetful. Love that. <laughs> love that, love that. So thank you for jumping on. You're very welcome. And congrats. This is the first time I've spoke spoke like in in oh. in to you to say yeah. congrats on on the final month of IMD. So that's International Market Director for anyone who don't know. And it comes with a ridiculous bonus, as in yeah, like he's ridiculous. <laughs> we can't, but Danny's pay this month and obviously I'm a recruiter, is going to be the equivalent of a year's salary of an administrator. Like, if yeah. you're an administrator, think of your year's salary. It's going to be basically what Danny gets paid on the uh, 10th of April. So, drinks on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It hasn't sunk in yet at all. It's absolutely crazy. Life-changing money. I bet. Even with my QNMD bonus, though, I, I had to, like, look at it and keep looking at it because I, I was waiting for someone to take it off me. Yeah. It's like, like, this can't be real, this can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell my lovely Facebook friends a bit about you? Obviously, uh, we're really good friends, but we're like A and Z together. Yeah. We're both a bit nuts, but that's probably our only similarity, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm that we're complete opposite ends of the scale. So just obviously, I, I work full time, I have no children, um, and you don't do it like you don't you don't work full time <laughs> well you do in this business and you obviously have little welly rose as well and um, so i'm telling your story here i don't know why shut up lauren Go on. Go ahead. <laughs> so hello everyone on the beautiful lauren's facebook 
me and Lauren didn't actually, I've got lipstick all the other note. Me and Lauren actually didn't know each other before the business. Um, we are quite similar in some ways. We're both from the east end of London. Um, so uh. we, learnt, we, we met each other in this business. Um, and as Lauren said, we are, we are, our stories are very different. I started off when I started the business as a teacher. So I was a teacher um, and I did this business, like most people do at the start, just to make an extra couple of hundred pounds a month on the side of what I was doing. Um, it was six months in that I decided to leave my job and concentrate on my business full time. For me, it, it just made sense. I was a mum. I wanted more time at home with my family. It wasn't really at the beginning about the money. It was more about the time. I wanted more time at home. And fin financially, it made sense because I was earning more doing this business than I was working. So I thought, OK, if, if I leave work and concentrate on this business, I know that I can earn a full time salary from it. Um, and all the time I get to make spend more time at home with my family. So that's what I've done six months in. I packed it all in and decided to work for my mobile full time. And I've never, ever looked back. There's not a day that's gone by where I've ever thought, oh, my God, like, what about, you know, my teaching career that I left or anything like that? Um, and people always go to me, well, don't worry, like, you've got it to fall back on. And I'm like, no, I haven't got it to fall back on. Like, I'm not going back there. Like, no. Um, this is me now, like my business is absolutely massive and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, financially, it's changed my life, but it's changed my life in a lot more ways than that. Like anyone that follows Lauren on Facebook and has been following her for a long time, you know, you'll get to see all the fab things that we get to do. And Lauren gets to do them even though she works full time. Um, but, you know, we went Vegas last year together, which was nuts. Lauren had me out partying until five o'clock in the morning. We went there for work. You know, we did do lots of work. We were in, like, conventions all day, really long hours. And then Lauren, being, like, quite a few years younger than me and a bit sillier than me, she was like, we need to stay out <laughs> till five in the morning and we need to do this. And I was like, first night I got there, I was like, right, we might go out one night. And Lauren was like, oh, we're in Vegas. Like, we need to go out every night. And we did end up going out every night. Like, she did get her own way. We went to watch Backstreet Boys one night, which was quite a tame one. Um, but then we did go to the casino, we did go to the club, like we did have a wild time in the end. Um, we slept on the plane on the way home, but we do we have lots of time. Whether, yeah. we're abroad, <laughs> yeah. Whether we're abroad, we were at Marbella last year as well, and um, I happened to take my husband to Marbella, so I didn't party quite as much as Lauren in Marbella. We did have a wicked time on the boat party, villa party, we did party. But I should imagine Lauren stayed out too early hours in the morning while I was sleeping. <laughs> Danny, Danny and I have like one or two drinks and then and then that's it. I'm like, Woo! Go, I'll have one or two drinks and after I have 12 more before I'm satisfied with life. So it's quite, <laughs> it just shows you the business is for everyone. But I had you out. I was well impressed with myself. 4 or 5 a.m. That was a big accomplishment for me in Vegas. Danny, what? Danny can be wild. Which you just got to get it out of her. <laughs> That's it. I did think like I'm in Vegas. We've come all this way. The convention's over now. It was on the last day, so we had done all of the convention, and I was like, "All right, fair enough. We'll sleep on the plane." But um, we do just have so much fun, and the friendships are absolutely incredible. Like Lauren will be like one of my best friends for life, and I wouldn't have known if it weren't for this business, and that makes me sad. So mm. you know, you so much that this business you know can do for you. It's the friendships, it's the experiences, it's the confidence, it's the self-belief it's you know all of the stuff like it's completely changed my life it's literally unreal love it so what is your your fate obviously you've covered a bit of it what's your favorite thing about what we do oh gosh i don't know if i can choose one thing like for me i had my own sort of goals so i always had like i always make vision boards i always have my own, own goals of what i want to achieve but my favorite thing now is watching my team achieve their goals. Like when Lauren went national marketing director, national marketing director, by the way, for anyone that don't know, it's the pinnacle position in our business, comes again with a life-changing bonus. And it's when like Lauren gets to come to all the meetings now. And, you know, she got a recognition on stage and, you know, she'll, she'll qualify for different incentives now and trips. And it's literally life-changing. It's unreal. So when Lauren done that, I was just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's just, it's just incredible, like, you, and you are Emma. all, <laughs> you're an MD, I was like, I oh, know, <laughs> <laughs> and it is all about that, like, it's teamwork, and there's nothing like, you know, you inter 
introducing someone into the business and watching them absolutely smash it. And, you know, I didn't introduce Lauren into the business, but she is within my team. So, like, watching her absolutely smash it is unreal. Like, I've got so much respect from the girl. How old are you, Lauren? Are you 25 now? I was 26 last week. Oh, yeah, I've got no respect for you anymore. I always thought, like, oh, she's a young girl. I've got so much respect for her. She works full time. She's doing this business. She's a legend. Now you're 26. You're old. Like, I'm not, no, I'm done now. I'm just 30. I'm done. I'm done. For her. Should have started at 19. God's sake. Oh, Anyone? I used to say. now, and you will be Olivia Measures, 23 years old. Just flossing at life, not like nearly 30, <laughs> like and me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So our, our Olivia Measures is the youngest PMD in the world. And she was, was she 19 when she done it, Lauren? No, when she started, she was 19. And then um, she done it at 20, when she just turned 21. So she just turned 21. Residential so, marketing. Yeah. Mad. That's it's 78 incredible. bonuses alone. Just exactly. in that. In that. What do you even do Mental, that much? Isn't it? I'll let you know. What are you doing with your money, Dan? What are you going to spend your 10th of April paycheck on? Or are you going to save it? I know you're already yeah. mortgage free. Yeah, mine is, mine is towards a new house. That's what it's going to be for. Oh, you're buying another one? We are, we are looking at the moment. We've got our house on the market at the moment. So we're looking for an amazing family home. So obviously we're going to Dubai as well in May. Um, that's all paid for. But I've heard we'll need a lot of spending money because I've heard that Dubai is really expensive. Ridiculous. I paid, uh, I went to a club obviously in January when I went after my month holiday in Australia. Thanks for this business. Mm -hmm. um, we went to a club and I paid £21 for a glass of wine. Yeah, see, I don't care how much money I get, and now big my bonuses. That would still make me feel sick. <laughs> I'm not. Like, I don't care how much money I earn. It's the principle. I was like, really, this better be a fucking gold rimmed yeah. rose, 1932 sort of. Yeah. Whatever. You I still, I still want a two pound fifty rose from Weatherspoons any day. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So I was just like, raw. Oh, I, I ain't got one of them, needless to say. And then we ended up on a table. But, you know, that's that's what you got to do when you're out there. I don't know how Ross would feel about that. Though, yeah, no, we won't be doing any of that. This is a family holiday. There'll be no tables and probably not much <laughs> £21 wine, neither. But I've heard even for like a Coke or something, it's about £8 or something ridiculous. So it's all right well at least you know now you're not gonna have to be on a budget at all are you no, i'm not, sure. not gonna i'm sure. not even gonna worry about my eight pound coach keep them coming <laughs> keep the coach coming <laughs> keep them coming. do you know what though i am so pathetic but when i joined this business one of my main goals was to be able to go to any restaurant and look at the menu and not have to look right and look at the price yeah not have do to worry about you know that. We, you always subconsciously kind of go oh that's 80 quid or that's 100 quid. That is literally goals in life, I think. To go to anywhere you want to go and just be like, oh, you might as well take the price list off because it don't matter, I can pay it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that now when I go shopping. I'm like, oh, I can have what I want. It's like, it's nice. <laughs> Why you need a bigger house for all those shoes. I know, definitely, definitely. I need a, I need a room for them. They need to breathe. <laughs> This is how me and Danny are so different as well. So she'll spend six hundred pounds on a pair of Louboutins just like that, and I will spend six hundred pounds just like that on, on a holiday. So yeah. all my money goes to travelling, and all yours just yeah. goes. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's good though. It's, it's it's good though. I think travelling's a good one. You've got you've got to travel. Why you've not got kids and stuff as well? Like, you know, we went. Um, I've been to Disney World twice on this holiday, and I think we spent like ten thousand pounds on going to Disney World on a holiday. And we would have never been able to have done that before this business. So it is life changing for your family. And, you know, it is literally unreal. It really is. And, you know, the amount of Lauren, the amount of holidays Lauren has, like, I, I don't know where she, I don't know. She just always seems to be on holiday. I'm like, where are you? I'm on holiday this weekend. I'm like, oh, okay, again. <laughs> yeah, I'm very tactical with my holidays at work and I buy an extra five. So I get like 30 a year. And I'm so yeah, I, always think, I always think she lies when she says she works full time as well. I'm like, how do you get the time? Like anyone that says they've not got time in this business, like me and Lauren in very different ways are examples that, you know, you have got the time because obviously mm -hmm. um, 
I run my family and, you know, I'm, I run my business and I'm I'm very, very busy mum. Whereas Lauren works full time. She's always on holiday and she still managed to get to national marketing director in this business, which is insane. You know, absolutely insane. So anyone can do this business, doesn't matter who you are, how much time you've got on your hands. Because time isn't an excuse. So many people say, oh, I haven't got the time. It's literally not an excuse. You will find the time. If you want to change your life, if you want more from life, if you want to build a business, if you want to make a difference, you'll find the time to. And you can build this business in, you know, a couple of hours a day. So it's just a case of, you know, what not watching Coronation Street and building your business on your phone instead. You can even have Coronation Street on in the background if you want. I wouldn't choose to because I don't like soaps, but, you know, <laughs> you can yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah, TV than soaps. But it's so true, like, you can do this business while you're watching like while I'm watching my reality TV I I do my business like that yeah. I, I don't I think personally if you don't have time for this business then you need this business that was the whole reason yeah. I started in the first if you don't have spare time then you need this business to be able to free up time because you know the general clock of life the way it works is the more money you want to earn the more hours you have to work and this is the only business I know that's the opposite you know mm -hmm. the more in now but you have time freedom so while i'm on holiday i can work because it means sitting on my phone and i get bored sunbathing anyway so why not sunbathe with my phone in my hand and earn money like no brainer really yeah, <laughs> like definitely. and so freeing up more time because you can work from anywhere in the world if you you know obviously the long-term goal like you doing it full time you could go wherever you want in the world and just be earning money you're not you know excluded to an office you don't have to go you don't have to do the morning commute. You don't, you know, your, your, your life is your own. You can choose what time you want to get up, go to bed. That is freedom. That's life success to me at the end of the day. And it can give you that. And that's what my five year plan is. Yeah, no, ab absolutely. There's nothing like it. Like I could never, ever go back. I've got nothing against anyone that works nine to five, but I could never imagine going back to being restricted like that. Like I own mm. my own life. Like I own my own day. If I wake up and I want to, you know, go to the gym, I'd do it. If I wake up and I want to go work from a cafe, I'd do it. Like, don't get me wrong, I do work hard, but I do it on my terms, in the hours that I want to work, around the things I want to do it around, you know, in my time. And I love that about it. Like, I absolutely love the time freedom. More than, you know, the money, more than the financial freedom, the time freedom for me is literally, it's, it's, it's just unreal. And as you say, like, I'm going to Dubai next month, I'll still be earning money, you know, if I go on holiday tomorrow if Lauren goes on holiday tomorrow we'll still be earning and there's nothing like that. I don't know another business where you know you could you could do that mm, 100% well thank you Dan for coming on and having a chat with me I know you've got a call at half eight so I don't want to overrun you um but You're yeah very welcome. on on my Facebook or Danny's Facebook who wants to know more just drop us a message uh, we don't buy a promise we're super <laughs> friendly um, yeah, if you want to ask us a question, you know, if you want to know more about what we do, anything, or it just even interests you a little bit, then 100% be inquisitive and drop us a message because it could change your life the way it's changed ours, not to be corny, but it could. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then I will see you. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. See you in Birmingham. Yeah. Woo, woo. Always yeah. travel in the country. Another country. I know. <laughs> if, we, if I'm not abroad, I'm going to a new city. It's so funny because we're both from London, but I don't actually ever think we've met in London. Maybe once or twice, but we're usually meeting somewhere in the world or somewhere in the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. I've met you in London like twice or three times. Usually it's not up north somewhere or, uh, or yeah, abroad. I remember the time we met, went, met in Manchester and you went to the wrong station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because you travel a lot, guys, it don't make you any better at travelling. Just throwing it out there. I, I was supposed to go to Bury and I went to Manchester. And for anyone who obviously knows the difference, that's very far away. And then I paid £105 in a cab. Um, we were going to love we're just next door to the station in the pub. Walk to the pub. Yeah. And you're like, what pub? And then we realised you're in completely the wrong town. <laughs> so that, And also, I could tax it back, though. That's the brilliance. That £105 didn't hurt because I just taxed it on my company. So that's I can yeah. So company, I got, got the wrong cab, got, the, got to yeah. the wrong station. <laughs> is my, to my accountant, this is because I'm thick. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you don't have to be business either, guys. See, we're just throwing them all out there, just knocking down all these needs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Bye. Bye.
Thanks, lovely. I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming on. Bye. 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 Bye